Hey guys, welcome to Data Structure and Algorithm. I'm Ripon Dutto. Today I'm gonna discuss about binary source tree. So today's agenda is how to create a binary source tree and how to insert node into VST. So let's get started. Alright, first of all I wanna say something about binary source tree. A binary source tree is a binary tree where each node has a comparable key and associated value and it satisfies the restriction that the key in any node is larger than the keys in all nodes of its left subtree and smaller than the keys in all nodes of its right subtree. As you can see, 50 is a node and you can see all the nodes of its left subtree is smaller than 50 and all other, all the nodes of right subtree is greater than 50. So this is the main property of binary source tree and this is true in each node. You can even say for 17, you can see left subtree, which is this one, 12, 9, 14 is less than 17, and right subtree, so in this case we have 23, 19, these values are greater than 17, and you can also look at this 72 where left subtree is 54 and 67 which is which are you know less than 72 and right subtree where we have 76 which is greater than 72 so this is a binary source tree and a binary source tree should have one more property which is if you in order to traverse this binary source tree you will always get a sorted list of nodes if you don't know the in order to traverse I will go through this tutorial in next days so don't worry about this now let's create a binary source tree first of all we have to create node so as you can see this is a node and this node has two subtree one is left subtree another one is right subtree all right so first create new project let's say vst implementation then take a class let's say node In the node, we have two subnode. We can say left child and right child, and we have a integer value. Now I'm going to create constructor initially left child right child both are null and value is 0 so if I have another constructor with value then we can see left child and right child is still null but value is the value all right so in this case this is referred to the current object that means this dot value that means this value is this variable and this value is basically parameter or argument now let's create BST 
BST. So, in the BST, we should have a private node which we can say root and in the constructor we can say root equal null initially root is null now I want to add a method which is add method so it will pass a value then we have to add the value in the tree so this is the tree and is the value that means add this value into this tree now we have to create our helper method which is add method root integer value and we have to assign this value into root alright so what we have to do is we have to return the root and first of all we have to check root is null or not if the root is null then root equal new node with value else if root value is greater than the value that time this value should be the left child of root so root dot left child equal root left child the value or root right child equal root right child with the value so this is our add method now I can illustrate you so whenever I want to add a node into the tree so I have to pass the value so this is our add method and this value I have to add into the tree so in this case our tree is root and in this case we have another private helper method node root value so if this is a first node so root equal null then root equal new node with the value let's say I want to add another node into this tree let's say I want to add 25 so 25 is less than 50 so it will be the left child 25 is the, is the greater than 17 so it will be in the right child 25 is the greater than of 23 so it will be in the right child and you can see this right child is null that means it will be here so 25 should be here so how can we handle it in this way if root dot value is greater than the value that means in this case 25 is greater than root 50 then root dot left child equal we have to add this value in the right left child that means 25 should be left child of 50 then it will call again now our root is what 17 so this is 17 which is not null and it will check 17 greater than value or value is 25 this is false that means it will come into else part so root dot right child equal you can see at root dot right child value that means 
it will be the right child of 17 but whenever it will call again add method you can see now our root is 23 this one but this is not null so it will come into else part else if 23 greater than 25 false so root dot right child equal add root dot right child which is in this case it was null so null value will call with 25 then it will come here now our root is null so root equal new node with 25 that means it will be assigned into right child of 23 that means our node is inserted so in this way we can add any other node now I want to implement this binary source tree let's say binary source tree and I'm going to take main method all right so let's create our BST equal new BST and BST dot add let's say 50 then BST dot add 17 then BST dot add let's say 72 then 54 76 BST dot add 54 76 then what 23 then let's say BST dot add 25 all right so now what can we do is we can run this project but there is no way to print any value and in this case we can use debugging tool so make a breakpoint over here and press F11 alright then you can see a step into step over so a step over that means F6 so our BST is created which is you can see null then I want to add 50 into VST so I want to go F5 F5 all right value is 50 root is null I want to use F5 you can see root is null so 50 should be the I want to use F6 root node root is 50 left right both are null all right then I want to add another node 17 so value this is root which, which is 50 so again f5 so now our root is not null so what we have to do is we have to check root value which is 50 which is 50 and our value is 17 so this is true that means this is if else if statement and in the left child I have to add this value so it will call again now our root is null now you can see it's created and assigned to the left child so yep 
now it is assigning to the left child now you can see our left child is now 17 so f6 all right now our bst or you can see our bst root node is 50 and it has a left child which is 17 similarly you can add 72 so press f6 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 now you can see that our root node is 50 left child 17 and 17 has another left right child which is 23 and 23 has another right child which is 25 so like this 50 17 23 25 all right so in this tutorial i tried to show you how to create a binary source tree in the next tutorials i will show you how to print the binary source tree using tree traversal in that case i will use in order traversal or pre order and first order traversal this is the first tutorial in this tutorial I have a question to all of you that um, what is the height of a binary source tree so you have to put your answer in the comment box so if you have any difficulty or if you don't get anything you can write your comment in the comment box or if you are interested you can make a comment as a review for me that will be helpful for me to create more tutorials thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel so see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye